Budget cuts are impacting the way you do your taxes this year. The IRS has lost about 10,000 employees through attrition in the past two years. The shortage is causing more people to have to rely on the web rather than a person. And our Sophia Beausoleil is live in the newsroom this morning with the latest as the tax deadline nears. Hi, Sophia. Good morning, Brian. So you've probably picked up the phone, try calling the IRS to answer those questions. You'll get an automated message and it'll direct you to their website for the frequently asked questions or you, if you have the patience, you can wait. So budget cuts at the IRS are resulting in long waits for the department helpline. If you've tried getting assistance on the phone, the average waiting time is about 18 minutes this tax season. That's up 13 minutes from 2011. The hiring freeze has limited the IRS from replacing workers who retire or leave. And Brian, just like you said, the IRS has lost about 10,000 employees in the past two years. That's more than 9% of its total workforce. A local tax preparer says they've seen the delays firsthand. A lot of changes with the IRS. The tax laws weren't ultimately finished till early this year, and so that kind of moved some deadlines. It moved uh, your ability to get file certain returns. You had to wait till later. A lot of people's forms aren't coming out on time. Um, and then the processing of refunds are delayed due to um, uh, identity theft, which is a big issue with the IRS. So another issue is also that employee furloughs have been pushed back until the summer after the April 15th date. And so more people are going to the website to get those answers um, when it comes to filing those taxes, because we all know it can be pretty complicated. Coming up at 6, we're going to talk about more changes what, that you need to know when it comes to filing your taxes before Monday. Brian? All right. Thank you.